Town to Once Radio, hashtag TO Radio, hashtag TO Media, hashtag Too Many Hashtags, he hashtag it out. And we're back, man, Jay Shep. And y'all already know what's going on, man, with the music. Uh, back with the rappers, back with bars, back to with back with lyrics. This is my comfort zone. This is what I like to, this is what I like to talk to. This is who Town to Once initially started for, but now we're getting back to them. You know, Towns ones, we try to get to everybody. We try to make sure we get the artists, we try to make sure we get the actors, we try to make sure we get the business owners. But y'all know music has this special place in my heart, my chest is this right here. And so today we gotta do Houston's on bars, storytelling, on the rise, KCG Josh, man. What's up, bro? What's up, what's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Uh quick question, bro. Um Whoever your jeweler is, if they got discounts, bro, just let me know. <laughs> you know bro, I don't, I don't want nothing on you, there, bro. I just need uh, if they got a, a discount code or a few, if they got anything, just let me know. Bro. I got you. Bro. Just say when. I right. tap in. I bet that, bro. How you doing today, man? I'm good. I'm blessed, man. Bro, you know. I can't complain. That's good, bro. It's good, bro. And shoot, it's, it's a weird time out here. It's a lot to complain about. So I'm glad you keeping your head up, bro. Right. Um, I want to get into this music, bro. I want to kind of get into uh, the song I was listening to but, um, first when I like was driving over here, just in general, Jackpot. Mm -hmm. it's, it slaps. I'm talking about, it's a joint. I'm talking about if you, I can throw that on at a function and that thing bangs, bro. Like, what is your, for, I'm gonna ask you two questions. First, what is your like creative process in the studio? And then second, how did Jackpot come about? All right, my creative process in the studio, shit, if I got some weed, really it's just, oh, okay. you know, I can like, I can really do anything, but I don't really write like that. Mm -hmm. I kind of listen to the beat, go over the flow a little bit, maybe like get the flow down, then put the words in there, and it's just smooth selling from there. Then I come out, chop it up a little bit, play with shit, move it around, just like that, make something the hook. Make some the second verse, first verse, mm -hmm. like that. For sure, man. For sure, man. And um, jackpot. I just need to know for my personal self how that song come about. Cause I'm talking about that's one of the ones like you in the car banging. You feel like you want to start kicking your foot out when the when the beat coming in and out, bro. Like how'd that one come about? Well, I was in uh, L.A. at uh, Paramount Studios with my boy Joey, best mm -hmm. engineer in the world. Shout out to him. He was uh, going through beats, and I heard that beat. And I was like, hey, let me hop on that right now. And I just went in there and did it. For sure, man, for sure, man. And um, just, I know I kind of went backwards. I probably should have asked this first, but you know, unorthodox, it is what it is. Uh, when did rapping become a thing for you? Like, when did you like start like saying like, oh yeah, I want to do this. Or you noticed you had the, like the gift of putting the words together. I, I was in college and I didn't want to do that shit no more. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell am I going to do okay. if I don't do this? And I was like, I. Right. my brother got a platform. He wanted me to do it. At first, I was one of them niggas like, nah, that shit lame. I ain't going to do that. Everybody doing that. Mm -hmm. So I went to school. But then, like, as I was going to school, I was like, I felt like I was going to school more for my parents than for mm -hmm. myself. Cause I ain't enjoy that shit. My dad Nigerian, so he's in your book, face your book, face your book, <laughs> like every twenty four seven. Nothing else. Education the surest way. So it's like, all right, boom. So I was like, bro, I had to talk up with my brother. I was like, bro, I wanna do this music shit. I had a partner I was uh, making music with at the time. We were just getting high freestyle and bullshit. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, you should do music. So we made a song or whatever, and I played it for my brother Maxo and my brother Madu. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I, dang it, I, I, he dropped it. He dropped it early. He dropped, he dropped the plug early. <laughs> I was about to say, you come from a family, yo, your brother kind of on. <laughs> yeah, so I played it for them, and they was like, hey, this is actually not bad. You was like, you was serious about this? I was like, nah, I was just playing. So he was like, you want to rap or something? I was like, shit, yeah, if I can do that and not go to school, because shit, this fun, I like to do it. Mm -hmm. So he was like, bet. Boom, like two weeks later, I go out to LA with him. This was like almost a year and a half ago, like when he first signed this deal. Mm -hmm. So I went in the studio, listen to beats. This was his session. I had no intent of rapping or nothing like that. Right. So he was, I was just vibing to the beat. 
he came out the pool like, yo, you fuck with this? I was like, yeah. He was like, shit, you ready to hop on that hoe? I was like, hell yeah. I was not ready at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous. I was like, shit, I can't embarrass these motherfuckers, these mm -hmm. professionals, these like the real deal. Right. So that's the mindset I had going in there. And I tried to make a little hook, a little repetitive hook. I still remember it was like, count it, cash, count it. Count it, cash, count it. Mm -hmm. And my brother's like, nah, fuck that shit. He was like, hey, just rap, nigga, just rap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. He was like, have fun. So I just started rapping. Boom. Ten minutes later, I came out. He started putting pieces together. He was like, all right, this right here is going to be your hook. That's where I got that method from, from him. Mm -hmm. He put a song together just off me freestyling. So you just that's how that happened. So you just kind of picked the part. He seen the potential, kind of start picking and yeah. putting little stuff together. And that had to be like an eye opening thing. It's like, dang, bro, I can really do this. Like when, yeah. like what was that feeling when like he, that first put together joint that he put together and like you heard it back and like how like how'd that make you feel? I was like, damn, this is way better than the freestyle you just did. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I'm glad I ain't embarrass him in front of these people. And like mm -hmm. now they like. They like it too, so I'm like, okay, cool. I can't do this, so I'm gonna do this shit. So I started going full fledged with it. For sure, man. And, but like you, you, you said it before. I could say it. I was like, you know, your brother, your, you know, brother, your brother Max O'Crane. You know, he kind of already, he boy, it's like he has his foot in the industry. That man's doing his thing yeah. out there. So shout out to him. Yeah. Is it kind of weird? I guess trying to like. I guess, you know, make a lane for yourself and not like, I don't know if it's like latch on or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, do your own thing and... I mean... Yeah. You, I see, know you see where I'm like, trying to go, yeah, right? From my outside, I, like, I understand how I look, but I grew up with him. I've been going through that my whole life, mm -hmm. ever since, well, all my brothers, really, since we was playing sports. Mm -hmm. I was always having to prove myself because I was like, oh, his brother's good, so they think he good. Let's see. So I always just have to prove myself, and it's the same shit with the music. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but that's my brother. We look alike. We sound alike. I'm gonna always get compared yeah, to him. Talk like, about I ain't gonna him. Y'all do look alike. You walked in here, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's cool though, cause I'd rather be like looked at with him than looked at with somebody that ain't even relevant at all. Nasty. That's a good point the way I look at it. And then he had, he had you on the track, brothers, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was a that was a dope track. Yeah, appreciate that. Was, that. that was for sure a dope track. And I feel like, I guess, do you feel like that was like a coming out moment in a sense when he had you on the project? Yeah. That was yeah. like that. It was like, okay, let's see what else he got. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. Because whenever I listened to uh, the project, you know, I was just kind of going through. I was like, okay. I'm listening to the verse. I'm like, okay, he's he talking about that his, his real brother. That might be his real brother. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. You know, because everybody's somebody's brother nowadays. Oh, that's my brother, bro. This is my brother, bro. Nah, bro. This is my brother. Nah, that's like, yo. You met somebody, he got some money, and y'all all of a sudden, that's, that's my brother. That's your y brother. Y'all like, taking pictures and shit. You know, <laughs> people, be, people be, look, people be saying day one, people be saying they day ones on day two. Like, nah, for real. Like, that ain't even, that's always funny. We could, I could talk about that for days. I've been seeing <laughs> Hey, we talk people on the ground. Hey, bro. Hey, that's my brother. I said you just met, bro. That shit really be funny. <laughs> have you, oh, this. I'm just asking. Have you seen that? Like now, like now that you're making music, your stuff's starting to get out there. Have you seen people start trying to like creep back in? Like, oh yeah, most yeah. definitely. Like it was people like. I used to tell them like, yeah, I'm gonna be a rapper or something like that. I'm gonna be in the entertainment industry. They'd be like, nah, I know you're not. No, you're not. You just gonna be an entourage nigga. That out of that. Wait, that. Yeah, I'm telling you. So it's just shit like that. I keep. It's like I ain't petty, but it's certain shit that fuel me. You know what I'm saying? I'm Proving people the, wrong. Like I like that shit. You can say you petty, bro. I'm petty yeah. too. It's okay. Right, yeah, I'm petty as fuck. Bro. So yeah, I still keep that in mind and shit. So like, it's like, all right, bet niggas like him. Hey, let me do a track. Got it out. Let's do a track. Got it out of everybody. Let's do a track. It's like, nah, I'm good. Or like, I mean, like, you should be like, what's right. your budget? Like, your budget ain't what it Tax is. Them. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. That's an uh, that's an entourage fee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's that's funny. That's yeah. funny. God damn. I know some people. I know some people are probably like, damn, bro, why, bro, never messing with me now, bro? Like, I just want the future. Nah. 
money money different, huh? Yeah. See? Yeah. There you go. And um I guess in a weird I guess in a way, like how long you say you've been rapping with? About two years? Three? Uh nah, like a little over a year and a half. Like almost two years, like a year and like eight months. I was like, hey, you've been you've been on some traction for a year, eight months, like, especially when I'm looking at, like, if I go on YouTube and look up your music, right, mm -hmm. and then I'm, I see the views, whether it's twenty thousand, hundred thousand, you know, brothers got brothers got like a mill with you and Maxo, but brothers got a mill with you and Maxo, right? It's some people that's been rapping for five, <laughs> ten, twenty years, it's still in the hundreds of views. You know what I'm saying? And that, I feel like sometimes that's like you landed at the right place in the right time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's God's time. It's God's time and it's not our time. And the question I do ask on Talented Ones with everybody is that um, which one do you feel is more important, your journey or your destination? I mean, uh, uh, it's kind of 50-50. I mm -hmm. mean, the, it's really the journey because the destination – you know where you want to be, mm -hmm. but it's how you get there. The obstacles, the ups and downs, the fake people, the people who don't want to see you there, you know what I'm saying? Right. All that's going through it. You got to learn how to handle all that shit. You can get to your destination without going through that if you just put there and fall off because you don't know what it takes to get back there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you go through the grind and the journey, it really help you appreciate you when you get, appreciate the destination when you get to it even more. I feel it. I feel it. I, I, I always say like, the, my answer is the journey, right? Like everybody answer when I, when they come up here is different. I've heard some destinations. I've heard some journeys. But like my answer is the journey because like you, I feel like you can't really feel that destination without really feeling your journey. You know, I, I feel like it's a little, it's a little different. If you want to get to, cause I feel like you never get satisfied. You know what I'm saying? If your if your goal was to make a meal, right? Right. Once you get a meal, what you gonna want next? 10 mil. Right. Then what you gonna want next after that? 100 mil. 100 mil. Then you gonna wanna get billionaire status. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel like when you, uh, your journey kind of keeps you humble in a sense, humble and hungry. Right. It's like them two H's. So I feel that's my personal opinion on that. I don't know if you agree or not, but I think we, we see not eye right now. Not facts. And um, another question I do wanna ask is like, being kind of like a year and a half into like the music industry, peeping it your brother your brother in the game you've seen everything that he's been he's gone through and us some and stuff like that what do you think is like one like big negative is like nah i can't stand it about like the music industry hold on give me a minute it's a whole bunch of shit but like uh shit what irked me the most mm -hmm. I, it's people who really have like you know passion for it or like they don't really care about what they're doing mm -hmm. they care about the lifestyle and how they've been looked at and what people got to say and shit like that hoes and clothes so it's mm -hmm. like all right it's like people that make dope music they're not making dope music they yelling on posts and doing all these other little theatrics and shit like that that has nothing to do with the music and mm -hmm. it's taken away from their music but their music is really dope that's one thing I don't like. And I see it happen with a lot of artists that I like keep on my personal playlist and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That annoys me. I feel that, I feel that. I can see that, like, one thing I've been peeping just because when I've started interviewing people and like, it, it, you know, I don't just interview artists, we use CEOs, actors, actresses, singers. Uh, we started getting into athletes. But the one thing I do say, think I've noticed is the different type of marketing plays people do. You know, you came in here dolo, right? Just kind of solo by yourself, and I kind of rocked with that. It's a little more genuine. It's been some interviews that I didn't. I've been in here, me and Uncle X, who's off camera, y'all can't see. We've been in here, and it's like they come in with ten people. It was what, two cameras, um, a female on the side. A manager's cool. I always rock when people come in with their managers, that because that makes sense to me. And then just a bunch of extra gang of people, and it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't even that type of party. <laughs> like, uh, facts, yeah, facts. like we we chill. I was like, all right, look, I ain't trying to get like, I ain't trying to get y'all with the questions, and, or 
sometimes it's cool for me to like send questions out to people, but just you know, like you want a heads up, like what what we gonna kind of talk about, right? But I, sometimes I feel like that takes away when I send like, oh yeah, I'm gonna ask this question to this question. All twenty of these I'm gonna ask. I feel like that takes away the genuineness of what people really want to hear. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. But nah, bro. Like I've been peeping the music, bro. You got something real special going on. I rock with it. Appreciate it, bro. Um, I think I think you just dropped something with Peso. Peso two weeks ago. Yeah, it's called Pour It Up. It's out now on YouTube. Go ahead, watch that. Run the streams up. Yeah, that one. That's a joint. That's another joint too. You you in my playlist now, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Jackpot smack smack the playlist, bro. Like I'm talking about. I like. Oh yeah, I know where I can play this joint. For sure, this the pre sure. this the pre game before we get to the, the to the spot. I got some more shit in the vault. Best believe. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. For sure, man. I'm rocking with it, bro. Send it my way. I'm definitely listening to it. I ain't, I look, you want to send me any exclusives? I'm not a leaker. I look cross my heart. <laughs> Hope to anything. I, Cause I wouldn't look. It's, it's business, business. I get it though. Just keep doing your thing, bro. Keep on point. You already got a great mentor in your brother, bro. For sure. Y'all keep going it up. Going it up. Running it up. <laughs> doing y'all gotta do. And I'm gonna just drop this plug right here, man. Um, we got these talents ones masks. There's one on his uh, side right there. They come real soon, you see? Might be a little small on the face. But there you go, see, T.O. Media Mask. Josh for supporting it. I'm rocking with it. Talents ones, hey, let them know the social media, bro. I don't have a Twitter. You can follow, <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram, at Josh Cream, J-O-S-H-K-R-E-A-M. Yes, sir. Do that. And y'all already know King underscore J Shift, Twitter and IG. And we dropping the uh, talent to one social media right here. And we out. Appreciate y'all.